you will have wear offsets as well as geometry offsets available. The wear offset is used to adjust for tool wear and will therefore be a small adjustment amount. Geometry offsets are used to define the shape of a tool after it has been mounted in the machine and may be a larger value. It's important to remember that these offsets affect the depth of cut created by the tool. The result can be a larger or smaller workpiece feature, depending on what is being measured. For example, when the depth of cut increases on a board hole, it creates a larger diameter hole, while the thickness of the remaining wall becomes smaller. Adjusting part length on Swiss machines requires some investigation. If the part length was too long, for example, there are two possibilities. The cutoff tool Z-axis offset may need to be adjusted in the minus Z direction, or the facing tool Z offset in a plus Z direction. Compare the location of other turned features on the piece to determine which end of the part, and therefore which tool, needs the adjustment. A wear offset is, in effect, an incremental command. It tells the tool in which axis it needs to move, in which direction, and how far it needs to move. Before changing a tool wear offset, five things must be known. First, the correct adjustment amount. Second, the axis to which the adjustment is to be applied. Third, the direction of the adjustment, either plus or minus. Fourth, which offset table is being used, and fifth, which location in that table. The amount of offset adjustment required is found by comparing the measured dimension to the nominal dimension on the print. The smaller of these two dimensions is subtracted from the larger to calculate the adjustment amount. The axis might be determined by which tool made the cut. Some tools only perform machining on the back of the part and others only on the front. That determines whether Z1 or Z2 is being used, for example. Check the setup documents and part program to determine which axis is involved. The sign of the adjustment value is determined by the axis direction that the tool must move to correct the feature. For example, if the tool moved an X to this position before turning the OD, the sign of the offset value will depend on whether the tool must cut deeper or less deep. It is the direction of tool or bar movement to correct the feature size that is important, not the sign of the tool's coordinates within the grid. Since offsets are incremental, if the tool must cut deeper, use the same sign as the direction of movement used to create the original cut. In this case, however, the bar is moving, not the tool, so the offset is applied to the bar's movement. This will cause the tool to cut deeper into the part because the bar moves out in the plus direction. If the feature was overcut and therefore the tool cut too deep, use the sign which is opposite to the direction of axis movement which created the original cut. This will cause the tool to cut less deep on the next workpiece. For ID features, such as board holes, you still need to know the axis direction that the tool moved to cut the feature. Be aware, however, that if the tool cuts too far, the diameter will be oversized instead of undersized as on OD features. For example, this boring bar moved in the X2 plus direction to bore the hole. The final diameter of the hole is oversized, meaning the tool cut too deeply and removed too much material. Therefore, the adjustment value must be in the X minus direction.